Hey, how about it, race fans? Richard Allen of MotorsportsReport.net here in the Warrior uh, Race Cars Open House uh, with Mike Knuckles. Mike, why don't you uh, start off telling us? Uh, I know Warriors had open houses for years, so what's what's going on here? So we have this every year. It's kind of a, I guess people call it a customer appreciation, but I just keep calling it open house because that's actually what I grew up going to when I was younger at Warrior. They just called it open house and invited everybody in the racing community in and fed you a lunch and just had new products on display and kind of showed everybody the car for for the coming up year, which for us would be 24. And I don't know, just a kind of a, a giving back for what everybody's uh, done for us all year. What What's the main thing that happens here at Warrior Race Cars? Is it maintenance on cars that you've already sold? Are you selling new cars? I mean, obviously you want to sell as many as you can, but uh, what's what's the primary focus in a day-to-day -day operation here? Uh, the primary focus is first to build brand new cars. Uh, we, we stay really steady. We're averaging 18 to 20 new car builds a year, and that's 20 new car builds off the jig every year. That's just me and Kevin working here. And then we average... 18 to 20 new car sheet metal jobs out of the <clears> building too so like so we average about 20 new cars out in the market every year right now sales are really good nothing has slowed down for us um i posted a couple of weeks ago this will be year five since i purchased from sanford and it's been nothing but straight up so first and foremost is getting brand new race cars out every day but we also still do maintenance on cars we take in we just done a, a 2020 car this week it needs a new deck and cockpit so we've done that uh we still do shock service. Uh, we build rear ends. We built transmissions this week. We really tackle everything but engines here at Warrior Race Cars. But our main goal every day we come in is to make sure we get our new cars in and out the door. And we there's a, a pile of bare bare metal back there. How how long does it take in the process to go from just bare metal to a car that's ready to hit the track at say Smoky Mountain? Well, that's, that's tricky because we always have things in process. The car's on the jig, and has to go to the powder coater, come back, and I'm working on one on the sheet metal side. But if we just had one car to focus on and say we start on the jig, it takes us seven days to build a chassis from two and rack to the floor. About another two to three days on the process as far as uh, powder coating goes, we get it back. Then you probably could throw seven more days on top of that just as far as sheet metal and assembly. And that's saying if every part and piece was sitting here when the car come back from powder coat. So effectively, two-man crew, you could do 14 days and have a race ready race car. How much time do you spend on the phone talking with customers about, hey, you know, I'm too loose, too tight, you know, things like that that you're, you're trying to help them out with? A typical uh, regular person, eight hour a day, I probably spend four hours on the phone. I typically have a headset on of just uh, just earpieces and I'm talking on the phone while I'm trying to do sheet metal work. Uh, but it's, it's typically four of, four of an eight hour regular, eight hour day, but I typically work. No, a minimum of 12 anyway, just because of the offset of the amount of phone calls I take. Then I try to work and get sheet metal done because my, my main side is over here. I do sheet metal work and then the chassis size is, you know, it's Kevin's gig over there. So he, he handles the chassis side of it. I handle the sheet metal and everything else. And you, uh, you like so many other of the chassis companies, you have a house car. Uh, what, what are you gaining from the house car? What's the point of, of any chassis builder to have a house car? Mainly just... Uh, for one, first and foremost, it's supposed to be just R&D. That's what we really gained from that. Uh, we put 975 laps on our motor this year. Half of that was testing. We've tested all around East Tennessee this year. We've been into Louisiana, down <clears throat> south and testing. And we just gained the knowledge to give feedback to our customers. And we've been able to apply that to a lot of them this year. And they've been really fast. You spoke to some of them here today at the show that's gained from our testing this year. So first and foremost, it's testing. And just trying new things. That way my customers don't have to try and lose a weekend because now... It costs so much to race just one weekend. If the customer's testing, they're wasting money in their own time. We need to be testing and handing that down to customers. So that's what we focus on. And then second is just getting our getting our name out there. When we go race, we try to go make the big events, and it looks really good on us and gives the customers confidence in us when we make big shows that they can go do that as well. And, you know, we can go through the pit area of any, any dirt late model race, and there are other chassis out there and everything. What... Uh, if I were getting into racing right now, why should I come by a warrior? Uh, I never brag or boast about myself. You know me for a mm -hmm. long time. Uh, but it's purely customer support. We've got a really good baseline of a race car that, that starts there. We have a great race car that goes around the racetrack. Very good without a lot of uh, overthought or a lot of input needed. It does really good out of the box for our customers. But it's what you get after the purchase from us is what is what makes us really more appealing than, than other people. And you brought up something that kind of will end with this. Uh, how much of your time 
on a daily basis is spent out there actually working on the car and then how much of your time is customer service? Uh, probably 50-50, really. I mean, it breaks down. If you break into a, a solid eight-hour day, I'm probably 50-50 customer service and hands-on. Like I said, I'm really hands-on because I'm the other half of the shop. So no matter what, every car that's purchased from us, I touch it and put it together. But at least the other half of my day is, is customer service. But, I mean, I just don't stop at 5. I, I stop at probably 10 or 11 because I got customers in other time zones. So I got customers in California, Oregon, uh, Washington, all that stuff. So my day really don't stop until 10 or 11 o'clock. All right, that's Mike Knuckles of Warrior House Cars. We appreciate your time, Mike. Thank you, Richard.